Hey guys, I am Dice Show, and I'm here bringing you a gameplay commentary of Call of Duty Black Ops. I am playing some team deathmatch on Nuketown. Figured I may as well give you some nice yellow houses, yellow and green houses to look at, instead of just the dreary Kowloon or something stupid like that. But anyway, this is the Silence of the Moss class that I was talking about. It's got the Silence of the Moss with Scavenger, and um, that's really all that's important. I mean, it's got Slide Hand Pro, and the third part really doesn't matter. But basically, the think the logic behind it is the FAMAS runs out of bolts really quickly. So unless you're using some, unless you're using dual mag, then you're gonna need scavenger if you want to actually use the FAMAS for your game. I mean, you could just play play around with other weapons, but it, as long as you got the the uh, scavenger on, then you'll be able to use the FAMAS the whole game. Silencer is key, and you don't need to have put dual mags on it. So it's pretty much the perfect situation. Anyway. I'm going to get into a different topic. Uh, I had literally about five minutes ago, I was watching a video of Woody's Gamer Tag, and towards the end, he mentioned kill streaks and whether or not they are overpowered in this game, or well, well not really whether or not they're overpowered, but were they overpowered? Are they? Over I, I thought that should have been a triple kill, but it only says double kill. I don't know. Whatever. I'm sorry, I keep I keep mentioning the gameplay, but anyway, I'll go back to my uh, my topic. So, Moody's Gamertag was basically saying how originally when this game first came out, people were saying that the air support was overpowered, the chopper gun or the gunship, there really wasn't much you could do about it. But then, as with Modern Warfare 2, everybody just kind of figured out, oh, well, it's not, it's really not that bad. All we got to do is take out the air support, <laughs> just pull out Estrella, it goes pro, no big deal. But then. That leads some people. Um, Wings of Redemption is a big person who mentions this. I feel like I mentioned Woody's Gamer Tank and Wings of Redemption in like every one of my videos, but um, I mean they're two of the commentators that I listen to, and they have really relevant points and stuff that I sometimes agree with, sometimes disagree with. Things that I like to talk about, so that's why I always mention them. But anyway, Woody's Gamer Tank. I mean Wings of Redemption often mentions how he thinks that the air support is underpowered in this game. When he gets a 9 kill streak, he doesn't want to be rewarded by having to go into a helicopter, fly into the map for 30 seconds, and then die. Because it's it feels like you should have earned something if you spent that much not time, but if you spent if you got if you managed to get a 9 kill streak then you deserve more. But where does that line of thought come from? That um I get a bunch of kills in a row, so I deserve a helicopter. I deserve a spy plane. I deserve. I mean, especially with the uh, the whole ghost problem. Where does it come from that you deserve to get a spy plane, which should show everybody on the map? That line of thinking must come from past Call of Duty games, because otherwise, there's really no reason that you would think that. If they had never come up with the kill streak in Modern Warfare, maybe Call of Duty wouldn't have been so popular. But that aside you probably would not expect anything to come out of getting killstreak. I know I played Halo 1, and if I was on a 15 killstreak, then I was just like, I'm a fucking badass. But I'm not expecting any... I'm not expecting any random strike to come out of the sky and kill all my enemies or anything. That is Call of Duty specific. So, what what game made it so that when we get a 9 killstreak, we expect to tear face. I think that comes from Modern Warfare 2. When you got an 11 kill streak in Modern Warfare 2, when you got that chopper gunner, you're just like, it's game over. I'm winning this free for all, I'm winning this team deathmatch, the other team's not going to be able to take any domination points for the next couple of minutes. But this game really is a lot different. The, the chopper gunners, while they can ju be just as effective, sometimes, they can also do, no do you nothing. If you're playing as a coordinated team in, in Modern Warfare 2, maybe they weren't maybe they weren't able to take down your chopper gunner. Maybe they especially with an AC one thirty it had three flares. Maybe you weren't able to take that stuff down. I mean of course there was still the two who kill chopper gunners, but they were much less prevalent. So um I don't know. That's all I really had to say on the issue. Hope you enjoyed my commentary. Final score was thirteen six with the FAMAS. See you guys later. Bye.